it's another Poundland Delight and actually quite a nice one this time. It's a standard sort of filament style lamp, but it just takes two AA cells and when you turn it on, it's not bad. It puts out a good amount of light, even on nickel metal hydride cells, which is what I'm using it on at the moment. And it's actually just an attractive lamp. So this is a heavy ceramic base. And initially it looks as though you can unscrew the lamp, and you can unscrew the lamp, but it's not recommended. I've already broken it and had to repair it, but this is good because in doing so, I've opened the thing up and we can see inside. So let's take these uh, power cell, uh, rechargeable nickel metal hydride cells out. And if I pull the base out, is this going to come out? Is it going to come out? I may have to screwdriver this out. Let's get under here and prise it because I think the hot milk glue is kind of like sealed up again. Well, it has. It's really sealed in tightly. So it's a ceramic base with the battery compartment and inside, much to the horror when I unscrewed it, is basically it, it is most of a screw-in base except that when you actually try unscrewing it, it does rip the wire off. So let's have another go at this and see if I can just wreck it again. So there's a little silicone o-ring here, big splat of hot melt glue there. One wire is sewed onto the side, and what they've done is they've left off the little pip. So let me just get a pair of cutters and just lop this off. And that. There we go. So now we have almost a three volt uh, lamp. But all we need is the little pin that goes in the end that makes the connection. They're fairly standard. You can remove it from another holder. And it is just a friction fit pin that uh, goes onto that wire. But in this instance, instead of actually putting that in and soldering onto it, possibly because it melted the plastic, they've brought the wire out completely and soldered onto it. That was quite hard to solder onto because of the type of metal it is. But now we have the possibility of either keeping this intact, modifying it, you could power it off USB, you could add a couple of 10 ohm resistors, one in each leg just for the convenience of that, and you could actually have this illuminated from either a USB power supply continually or a power bank, because, you know, just because there's an apocalypse doesn't mean you can't have pretty lighting around the home. So that's it. It's a nice little thing, you know, it's attractive, um, and it works very well. And it's quite good to, these must be par parallel array filaments to be off, you the three volts with parallel LEDs in each and they're all hooked in parallel inside. So it's quite neat. It's actually worth getting just for the lamp if you remove it very, very carefully. But you also do have the option then of actually having uh, this heavy ceramic base with the battery pack to power it just as an ambient table ornament with no mains power required. Quite nice. I like it.